Hello to all our Basecamp homies. Mitch here from Joe's Basecamp in Brookvale. Hope everyone's doing well, keeping safe um, and keeping active as well. We are bringing you another youth and teen sessions today and that is to get you moving, get you active, teach you some new skills and give you a break from all your studies and everything as well. So hopefully you guys are taking care of yourself and hopefully you have enjoyed our last few weeks and learnt a few different exercises. Today, we are going to work through the same structure we normally do. So we will start with our warm-up, same warm-up we've done for the past few weeks. And then we're gonna go into our skill. Our skill today will be an overhead squat. So just the only thing I will say for today's is you will need one piece of equipment and that's just simply a towel. Um, preferably quite a long towel, so rather than a short gym towel, like a beach towel is perfect. It's exactly what I'll be using um, behind me here. Um, and we're just going to use that for our overhead squat, which is our new exercise for today. So if you haven't got a towel, quickly run and grab one. Or I'll give you a second just before we actually go into that exercise and you can get one ready to go. Cool. Otherwise, we're going to work through um, that skill, which as I said, is the squat. Work down into our circuit. Today's circuit's kind of short and sweet. We're just going to smash it out at a really high intensity. And then of course, challenge at the end, a bit of fun. Again, try something different and see how we go compared to um, everyone else in your family and have a bit of fun with that one as well. Cool? So now's the chance. Get your brother and sister involved. Get mum and dad and your dog and your cat and everything. Get them all in the living room. Let's get into it. I'm going to get us set up for our warm-up. You may be familiar with how we've worked through it over the past few weeks. Remember, we've got seven exercises, 20 seconds of each. I'm just going to run you through it. Make sure you get your water with you. Plenty of space around you. And we're getting ready to go. So we're starting off, of course, with our high knees on the spot. So really nice and light and just arms straight up and down. Really light on the feet. Hopefully you guys have really enjoyed our, our sessions over the past few weeks. Make sure you chuck us a comment. Let us know how you're finding things and always make sure you post us on your socials. Hashtag Basecamp Homies is how you can reach us and we can let us let you know who's going. Heel flicks next. Again, so remember, really light on the feet. Should be as quiet as possible as we work through this one. Beautiful, staying on the spot. A skips. So with this one, we have both feet touching the ground at the same time, and then we lift up, alternating knees side to side. Just like when we're running, opposite arm comes up nice and high as well. And one to two more. Beautiful. Take a step back into our bounds. Little jump forward. Take a few steps back. So this one gets the heart rate up quite quickly. But in our first round, we won't go too crazy. And we want to use the arms to help us get that distance in there. One more jump. And then back to where we started. Lunge. Rotate over your front knee. Changing sides. So keep the chest up nice and tall. Get that big rotation in. And we will keep working between each side. Good. Two to go. Walkouts. Let's just go to shoulder height first. So we finish with the shoulders over the wrists. Walk back in. Touch the feet. And back out we go. Let's go one step further. And then come back in. Touch the feet. And out now. Hands over. With a, sorry, foot next to the other hand. And then open up. Look up to the sky. Come down. Changing sides. Nice stretch, opening wide. Remember if you need to from the knees. Coming across. Just to make it a little bit easier. Now we'll go back to the start. Into those high knees again. Really nice and light. Round two now of our warm up. This is where we start to really prepare for the big session ahead. Make sure you're zoned in. No more distractions. And we're ready for a big session. And heel flicks. Start to just slowly build up the pace, but ensuring we're really quiet, really light on the feet. Should be starting to get a bit of a sweat up now. Good, and take the steps back. Sorry, into our A skips first. 
So working side to side. Remember, get that arm in there, just like you're running. You wanna make sure we're using the full body. Try to get the knee up as high as possible with each movement. And we're about halfway through that second round of our warm up. Let's go through our bounds. Long jump, long jump, and step back. From now, let's try to do one as far as we can, and then take it back. Go again, arms up, really nice and far. And last one, again, soft landing. Take it out into our lunge, rotate, and alternating. So I believe we're in school holidays at the moment, we're just coming to the end of it. Hopefully we're all enjoying some time off. Definitely a good time to keep moving though. Have a bit of time to have a bit of fun with your brothers and sisters and everyone else in the family. Going into our walkouts. Again, shoulder height. Tap the feet. One step beyond. And again, in. And it's a little bit further. And this time now holding at the end. Let's try to keep our back knee off the floor. Open up, back to the ground. Bring that foot up. And it's continually to work side to side. And this will be the last part of our warm up for today. Beautiful, good job. Grab some water. This is your chance. If you need to, quickly run and grab a towel, because now's when we're going to be using it for our new skill. So I'm just going to pop that behind me for now. Like I said, preferably a long um, beach towel is perfect. It does need to be quite long. A short gym towel probably won't do it for you, so just go and grab something longer if you need to. Today's skill that we are going to work through is our overhead squat. So I know we have worked through before with some of the other trainers, you would have learnt um, a more basic squat and some different variations where we've been sitting down onto a bench and working through jumping motions as well. Today, we're actually gonna take a weight overhead. If you haven't got a towel that you can use, you can also use a broomstick or a mop or anything that kind of is gonna resemble that same, uh, like a pole where you can hold up overhead. So the reason we're doing with this overhead movement, it makes it a bit more challenging, gives us some upper body work into what is a lower body focused exercise, and it's gonna test your mobility as well. What that means is how you can sit into the most full range of motion that your body could possibly achieve. And you'll see what that means once we do a few reps. So we're gonna start off, of course, learning that skill before we actually try and take it on in our circuit. So take your towel, scrunch it up until we just have one, long rod-like um, towel shape. Like I said, if you need to do this with a broomstick or something, that's fine as well. I want you to hold it right at the very ends. So when you're holding overhead, it shouldn't be straight above you. It should be out nice and wide. Our feet are the same as they have been for previous squats. So that means that there's feet under the hips, slight angle out in the toes. And when we squat down, we're trying to push the knees out. So we want the knees to come in, push the knees out. Let's have a go. Take the, the, the um, towel up, push it away from you, and then I want you to try and sit down as low as you can, keep the chest tall, push the knees out, drive back up. Let's try two to three more. Down nice and low, push out, and control. We'll just do one more. Sitting down, brief hold at the bottom, and coming down. If you're finding that quite tricky, Let's just do something just to help loosen up and we call it mobilize, try and make us just a bit more flexible for that particular movement. So I want you to try and come down into the lowest squat that you can. We call this a sit squat, sitting right down. From there, push your knees out with your elbows and we're just gonna rock side to side very gently. If you need to, maybe hold onto your couch in front of you, it might make it a bit easier for you. Let's just move around on and off the toes, keep the knees pushed out. Keep the chest up tall, and it's mean that we're getting the lower part of our body ready for this movement we're about to do. So we'll stay here for maybe another 10 seconds or so. It's a really good one you can do every day if you really want to focus on building that lower body strength and mobility, especially if you're doing a sport where you might need that. 
All right, now let's try again. Just put that one quick mobility exercise in there, just to help loosen up through the hips. Again, towel, nice and wide, and then, whoops, going again. So up tall, push it away, sitting nice and low, force the knees out, and we should find that feels just a bit more comfortable, and we are able to keep our chest up nice and tall. If you really struggle with that, you can take the towel behind you onto your back and then try going through a squat that way. We'll leave that up to you. The overhead option is the encourage option. So that is our new skill for today. Really, really good exercise. When you get to the point where you feel a bit more comfortable with it, we can actually add some weights with that as well. So you might perhaps try holding um, like a broomstick with some light weights, just to kind of thrown on either side, or you might want to hold something overhead, like a book or something to make it a bit more challenging for you. Today's circuit, like I said, quite short, quite sweet, really high intensity. We have three exercises. Exercise one is an overhead squat. Exercise two are our bicycle crunches. Exercise three are star jumps. That means we have lower body, we have a core exercise, and we have a cardio exercise. So that means we're getting our heart rate right up. So a good mix, 10 reps of each, four rounds through as fast as we can. I want you to try and keep up with me as we work through it. Cool, so four rounds, 10 reps of each, nice and simple. This is your chance to grab a quick drink of water, get yourself set up before we go. You might find you want a mat or something you can use to lie down on the ground as well. I'll show you all three movements. Excuse me. So the first one, as we know, is that squat we just rolled through. You may find, just for the sake of comfort, you'd like your towel on the floor for our bicycle crunches. This is gonna be exercise two. So we're gonna have our feet up, arms up, and we're gonna crunch side to side, trying to bring the elbow towards the knee. We're doing 10 reps in total, so that is gonna be for us five reps on each side. Exercise three, we all know these ones, star jumps. I want a nice wide jump out, and I want the hands to touch at the top. Cool, so that's gonna be our cardio exercise. That's gonna get the heart rate up to finish off. We're gonna go in about 20 seconds. So grab your water, anything else you're gonna need. I'm gonna pop my towel in the middle here to get ready. I'll have the clock going for us. Try and beat me. Four rounds, 10 reps, as fast as you can between it all. Ready, up tall, and here we go. Sitting low into your squats. With our squats in terms of the depth, we call it getting our thighs parallel. So for you mathematicians out there, that means that your thighs are in line with the ground. In terms of our body, it means that our hips are in line with our knees. And last one. Cool, if you want to pop your towel down for your bicycles, you can. Otherwise, just towel to the side, and we'll go one, two, three, eight, nine, ten. Done. Star jumps. Wide jump, hands meet at the top. We're not trying to do these ones. Let's do it properly, get it right up the whole way. And 10, grabbing our towel. That's round one done. You can see it took just about a minute, so it's a really short circuit for us today. Up tall, sitting down low. Trying to force the knees out with every rep. And we're trying to make sure as well, we're not doing it with our arms sort of straight, either right up or down onto the back. Breathing in on the way down, big breath out as we stand up and we return to the top position. Tow down, bicycles on our back, feet up, breathing out as we sit up. Eight, nine, 10. When we do that, lower back stays flat to the floor. That ensures we're getting our core working and we're not working our back. One. Two, three, nice wide jumps. Very good, halfway. We're gonna be just over, maybe just under four minutes. Let's see how we go. Take it up tall, arms straight. Let's go nice and quick, sitting low. 
into each rep. Straight down, straight up. Chest stays up tall. Should be feeling a bit of burn in the legs now. That's good, that means we're doing it right. Perfect. Towel down. I'm gonna take a second now just to make sure my lower back is flat. Arms on the side of my head, not the back. So I don't pull on my neck. All the work is coming through here. Keeping my eyes up. It's gonna help me keep my chest up tall. Very good. Side jumps back on the feet. Nice wide jumps. I wanna try and take up as much space as I can with my arms and my feet. That means I'm getting the most full range possible. Just be mindful we're not gonna hit anyone else around us. One more. Doing awesome, let's go. Back up again. The last round's always gonna be our fastest. Let's see if we can stick to that. Two more of our squats, and they're done. That's good news. We like that. Bicycles straight down across, side to side. Getting that rotation through the upper body. Good, and star jumps. And we might be on for our fastest round here. Let's try to get under four minutes. And there we go, three minutes, 57. If you're still going, you're doing awesome. Let's try and finish it off. If you got it that done before me, good work. Very good job. Take some time, grab yourself a drink. For those of you that are finishing up, I'll leave that clock going there for you for another 15 or 20 seconds. Doing really well. Grab some water. Towel can go off to the side. So today's circuit, really short. You can see we've got a really high breathing weight. We're getting a good sweat on. Sometimes it's okay to just do really short, powerful, explosive circuits. Today's one, we had a good challenging movement in there as well. So that's something you can apply if you're ever doing your own training or you're doing, having your fun in the park or in the backyard. Throw in a few of those overhead squats, grab a towel, grab a stick, whatever you can, you're good to go. Cool, let's get ready for our skill. I'm just gonna turn off our clock here. I wanna see your comments as well. What time did you get? Mine was 3.57, did you beat me? I'm sure many of you absolutely smashed it, but I wanna see what those times were. Our challenge to finish off today, what has been a nice short session, we're gonna go through another explosive movement. This is something we have done variations of in the past. We're gonna go do a single leg broad jump. What we're gonna do is have three jumps per leg to try and go as far as we possibly can. This one's really good fun if you do have mum, dad, or a brother and sister around. Have a bit of competition with them, get them involved. It's all friendly and see who can go the furthest. I'm gonna show you what it looks like firstly before I actually explain it, just so we're all on the same page. So I'm gonna pick a starting point. I might pop a hat down on the floor or just look at a certain um, floorboard mark or something just so I know where I'm going from. I have three jumps to go one, two, three, and try and go as far as I can. Cool? That's the challenge. How far can you go in the three jumps? Now, just some rules and some technique things in there as well. The first thing is you wanna make sure that from jumps one to two and two to three, you're really powerful. What that means is we're not jumping, stopping, and then going again. We wanna try and do it in a really seamless fashion. So that looks like go, go. So you can see that from the first two. The third one, however, you must land really solidly. So again, what I mean by that, if I go two, three, I need to land like this. If I'm wobbling around or if I use my other foot to support myself, doesn't count, back to the start, go again. Let's practice. We'll do about two or three practices at each go, and then we're gonna get one final run. So, right leg I'll go this time, long jump, long jump, and forward, making sure I land, there we go. Left side. Back to the start, try and get a bit further back, see how we go. Long jump, two, three, and landing again. I'll do one more on my right, because I did two on my left earlier, and then we're gonna do the real deal. So one jump, two, three, and we're good. You can see as well, we use the arms. You may have remembered a few weeks ago, 
We did broad jumps. We used the arms as that lever to give us momentum forward. So I'm gonna pick a point on the floor. I'm gonna use my water bottle to mark it out. Might be in the very back range of what we can see here. So starting back, I'll have my foot level with that point. I'm just gonna do one on my left, one round on my right, and see which one I can do further on. See if you get um, further off or, or less far on your stronger leg, because you might find you surprise yourself at how good your um, typically weaker leg is. So for me, my weaker one's actually my right, so we'll see how we go. Starting on that one foot, let's go. One, two, three. And I'm just gonna take note of where that point is, and I'll see if I can beat it on my right. Try and be the furthest in your family. Ready? And one, two, three, landing. And actually got a bit further on that right side then. So that's a good one as well. See how you went compared to the other people in your family and compared to yourself. Because that exercise is a really good indication of your lower body strength and your ability to use your whole body to be really explosive in going forward. If you do play sports like perhaps say basketball, netball, anything where you require a lot of jumping, even something like maybe AFL, there are plenty of um, different sports in there where you might need to do that. And that's a really good one for you to practice building that jump length. So what you can do, pick a certain point in the backyard or in the living room or whatever, mark it down every two or three days, come down, practice, try and beat it. Cool? And take note of which side you're doing stronger on. So there you have it. That is our base camp homie session for today. My name is Mitch. Obviously, we are from Joe's Base Camp in Brookvale. We really hope you guys are enjoying these sessions. I want to let, um, I want to see how you're finding them. Hashtag Base Camp Homies is the way you can reach us, and we can know who's doing the sessions. Make sure you post comments of your scores, how you're finding it, and which movements you're enjoying the most of our new sessions. Otherwise, that is it for today. Hopefully, you guys can enjoy some downtime, get back into your studies, and we'll see you tomorrow for our next Base Camp Homie session. See you later.